If you are a real estate agent and you are tired of cold calling, door knocking, paying for ads that flat out don't work, or just tired of not knowing how to generate leads, then this is the channel for you. We are four rockstar agents who have come together to help fellow agents achieve financial freedom as well as location and time freedom. My name is Andy Hollis along with my partners Aileen Fountain, David Doran, and Tim Hollanden. Together we have over 50 plus years experience and knowledge in the real estate and sales and training industry and we are hoping to pass that knowledge on to you. So let's get started. So you're thinking about switching brokerages and you want to learn all there is to know about eXp Realty. Well, today I am with Stephanie Gilson with Gilson Global. She is not on the same playing field as the rest of us agents. I'll go ahead and tell you that right now. She is a massive, massive commercial agent producer. She has a team of 10 agents. She has listings spanning 37 states and four countries. She has a billion dollars in listings right now, and we are very lucky to have her as one of the leaders of the Freedom Team, which we'll talk a little bit more about our Freedom Team within eXp Realty. So I'm very, very fortunate to have access to Stephanie, being a Freedom Team leader, being a member of the Freedom Team. Uh, getting to know her over the years has been truly an honor getting to see her business absolutely dominate and explode, even though she was dominating and exploding before eXp Realty. I think uh, she'll probably tell you it's catapulted even more since then, just because of the way our, our borderless brokerage works. Um, we'll talk a lot about commercial real estate in this video, but even if you are a residential agent, definitely there's going to be some some content in this that you're going to want to hear so definitely stay tuned and let's get to it so as i mentioned we're going to get into an awesome little interview with stephanie gilson i love it and no one's ever described me as a awesome little interview an awesome <laughs> little interview I, I need to forewarn them real quick she is unfiltered i have no idea what I will she'll end up saying apologize now in case something <laughs> slips out <laughs> All the more reason to watch because it is she, she will strip it down and be completely unfiltered with you guys. So um, you're 24 years in the business. Yes. You are a commercial icon megastar. Yes. She launched EXP Commercials Division. That's right. We have commercial EXP because of Stephanie. That's right. So she knows all the ins and outs of what it's like to be a commercial agent at eXp Realty. So um, let's dive into the first question. Let's talk about, um, so you've got a billion dollars in listings. Yes. You're doing deals in 37 states and four countries. You have deals between $29 million restaurant franchise package deals to $33 million even more than that. I mean, we've done, you know, an $85 million hotel deal in the Dominican Republic, right? And so, you know, my team, we specialize in all things, whether it's business or commercial real estate, okay? A lot of land deals that we're working on. We've got a land deal in Kansas right now for $58 million. So, you know, it's all about the numbers, it's all about the, the NOI, and it's all about what can we do with those properties. And so, um, you know, that's why, and we'll dive into this on this interview, but that's why eXp is so important for our business because of the borderless brokerage. Right, right. Um, let's talk a little bit about where you came from. Um, I, I mean, you used to own a KW. Yeah, I owned a, a Keller Williams, the first market center in Kentucky. Okay. Uh, we launched that in 2004, grew it to 221 agents. Um, that was not the model for me. I'm not a franchise person, you know, I, it, it's either got to, I've either got to have the ownership and be able to build it the way I want to build it, or I'm not a good rule follower, I guess you could say. I'm and shocked so to hear that. Shocked. When I, when, when, when the rules didn't make sense for me, then the company of KW didn't make sense for me. And, and so I sold it February 14th of 2008. Okay. Um, and, and then went back to being independent. So, you know, I got into real estate in 1999, right out of college. 
Okay. I didn't know my ass from anything. I mean, I didn't know anything. Right. I mean, nothing. Okay. I mean, my goal in life was I, I went to college, graduated college with a political science degree. My, what I was going to do was be a lobbyist in DC. That was what I was going to do. So you would I was going to, you'd have been great. At I would that, have been amazing <laughs> at it. And I still do some of that, you know, cause the, in, in, in real estate, that's what we're doing. We're lobbying for our clients, especially, right? on, especially on the commercial side, especially on it. So that's why I resonate to that side of it. And you know, so I got into the business in 1999. I, I, all I wanted to do was be a commercial broker. That's it. And every commercial brokerage that I walked into to see if I could put my license, hang, hang my license with them, basically looked me upside and one down the other and said, you don't belong in commercial real estate. You know, 1999, maybe it was because I was 21 years old. Maybe it's because I was a female and a bunch of old white dudes owning these commercial brokerages, right? So I'm like, what the heck? Well, so I, I went to uh, work for a small independent broker. I knew him because I knew his daughters. And so I went there and I told him what I wanted to do. He said, look, I'm not going to be able to really help you, but sure, put your license here. So I never had any early on mentoring, right? I didn't have that person that I could model my business after. So, you know, I fumbled a bit, but ultimately you know, with a bunch of grit, grind and pounding pavement, I made it. And, yeah. and I, and that's why, because I didn't model my business after anyone that I looked up to, cause there wasn't anybody. That's why it was hard for me when I got to the KW, because I'm like, I'm not going to model, I'm not going to work this model, you know? So, yeah. so for me, you know, I, I learned what worked and I stuck with that. Right. And, and people who know me, they always say, how are you so successful? Because I stay in my lane. That is the lane I drive very fast in, very well. And there's no potholes. You know, sometimes we'll hit potholes. But I stay in my lane. And that's why I've, I have just ex ex exploded my business. Because when you stay in your lane and, and, and what works, you know, early on, I mastered Louisville, Kentucky. That's where, that's my market. That's where right. I live. I mastered that. Everybody, I, I built my brand recognition right away. I started my first real estate company, my first brokerage, when I was 22 years old. And think about this. Who's going to work? What agent is going to put their license with a 22-year-old female broker? Think about that. Well, they did. Wow. They did. I was going to say nobody, but... <laughs> they did, though. I ended up building that company to 48 agents which is why Keller Williams found me, uh huh. right? Because when Keller Williams found me, I was 26 years old. Young, energy, top producer in the market. What a great person to launch this company, right? Right. And, you know, and I had partners in that space. I didn't do it all alone. But there, was, there was three other partners, you know, but, but that's what I do is I build great things because I put all my effort into it. I'm never the smartest agent. I'm never the smartest broker. I'm certainly not the smartest realtor, but I outwork everybody. And that's why I'm successful because I'll outwork you. I love it. That's what I do. Absolutely love it. And that's, that's where success, you don't have to know everything, but if you put forth all the effort and you outwork it, that's why you win. I'm constantly learning things about her. Um, always impressed and, and, you know, for me, I also right out of college, I did go to corporate America for a couple of years and then moved over to real estate. Same, didn't know anything, but I was fortunate enough to have some amazing mentors. I know without a shadow of a doubt, I would not have made it in real estate, would not be sitting here right now without those mentors mm -hmm. um, to learn that you didn't even have the mentorship. It just makes your story all the more impressive because you're, you know, you're six or seven years ahead of me in terms of longevity of your career, but probably 70 times ahead of me in terms of, uh, you know, what your, what your volume and business looks like. You know, that is, you know, we're going to talk about the freedom team on here. And, and, you know, one of the big reasons for me, I've always come from the serving side because I didn't have that mentor, right? You know, right. I was always a principal broker, mentoring agents, making sure, you know, to, to coach and guide them along the way, you know, making sure to say, look, I tried that back in this year. It didn't work. Don't even try it. Let, right. Let's move, let, you know, to be able to truly bring people into this business and then be successful. And so 
But that's why I'm that that person. That's why you know I've held the broker roles. I've you know wanted to launch EXP Commercial the right way with the right mentoring program. That's why we're all certified mentors. But on the Freedom Team, we're getting together each and every single day to take all of this knowledge and pour into our agents, to pour into our organization yeah. inside of EXP. But that's exactly why, because I know what it's like to not have that person you know, that professional to, to ever have taught me that, you know, I didn't go to a, a brand real estate company ever until I came to, uh, well, the KW was the, was the franchise ownership, but I never started at a Remax or a Coal Bank or any of that stuff. And so when you're with a small independent, you know, there's, there's not much there, right? Not at all. Well, and I mean, and, and truth be told that even a lot of these big brokerages, there's some, there's, there's some support, some, there's some training but, there, but it, it, you know, it, EXP has really changed the game when it comes to the collaboration, the community, the training, even though we are a virtual brokerage. It's a perfect example of what she's saying. You know, here, I'm down in Gulf Shores, Alabama, collaborating with the best agent in Louisville, <laughs> Kentucky, and she also happens to be, you know, one of the best commercial agents in the entire world. I'm collaborating with her. I can call her if I need, hey, I've got a commercial agent that wants to talk to you. Can I set something up? Sure. Here's my calendar. Go yeah. go set that up. I mean, who has that type of... That's, you know, you don't of, have that when you you're locally confined you don't. at your branch office. I've you collaborated don't. more with agents in the last five years outside of my market than I did the previous 15, 15 before. Right. Combined. And, and that's that was always my big frustration um, and why I owned an independent brokerage was because, you know, with, with the whole Keller Williams thing, I, I, I got excited about that when we were, you know, launching it and thought, man, this is going to really explode the business. You know, it's a company of collaboration. Well, I'm going to call the board right there because it's not, it was not, you know, no agents in that office wanted to teach anybody anything because they did not want to breed their own competition, you know? And so I, I was so tired when I sold that company and I wasn't even 30 years old yet. Think about that. I wasn't even 30 years old when I sold my shares of that market center, but I did it. And I walked away from that company because nobody wanted to collaborate. Nobody wanted to help anybody. I was having to do all the, of that education. And, you know, it was, it, it's, that's how most offices are. They think they're getting some mentoring, but come on, people don't really give away those great secrets inside those, those little offices, those four brick walls. Here at eXp, because we all own this company, we're business partners, totally different mentality. It, it, we all want everyone to be successful because that means our ownership's worth more, right? Yep. And so that's why you see this collaboration. I mean, look at what we've done just this week right. and what we've been able to learn from one another that I'm going to go back, put into my business, because look, you always have to be learning, right? You always have to be plugged in. What I learned this week about AI and how I'm going to plug that into my business is game changing. Yep. I have a billion dollars in listings because of what I learned here from another EXP agent I'm going to do 2 billion in listings. That's what I'm going to do. Just 2 billion guys. Just two? It's not very much. <laughs> uh, it, I, unless you come to one of our events, it's really hard for us to explain the energy that she's talking about. Um, it, it is a different level of energy than anything I've ever experienced. Um, the, the heartbeat of this company, the heartbeat of the culture right. is, is a very giving, um, very collaborative community. And you don't, you just like, it blows your mind because we're a virtual company. You're like, how can you have that kind of culture and community? But we do. You do. We do. And we do it. And you, you know, you come to the events and you feel it, but you can also plug in on our Zoom calls and feel it too, you right. know, and, and what we're, what we've been doing, you know, from, I mean, I love the fact that just within the last 90 days of Freedom Team education that we've put together, mm -hmm. people have been able to master five different avenues of business, of real estate, right? Okay. Because, you know, the last three years were kind of easy, right? You know? 
So it's getting hard again. <laughs> so there, so there's so many agents that we're plugged into that we're in business with that never experienced the old days, the olden days, right? Right. right. Hey, I, I'm I'm a realtor from the 1900s, literally. Think about that, yeah. 1999. But you know, I mean, they they don't even know the innovation or even what to to, and now they do. And so we've even had agents from other brokerages because they're not getting this kind of training and education and guidance pl plug into those calls. And, and I've got emails where I taught that short sale series. Uh -huh. You know, it was a four part series, um, gave away every trip, trick, tip, you name it, to be successful at, at how to do short sales, how to land short sales, how to find short sales, how to negotiate short sales, the whole thing. I, I love the emails that I, I received from agents going, oh my God, you just gave away your entire playbook. Yeah. Thank you so much. And now I really love the emails and the text messages that I get when they, or work chat me and they go, I just listed one. And then Stephanie, I just sold that listing. And, and they're just so excited. I love that, you know, because that's what we do here is, yeah. you know, it's not about me doing all the business. It's about all of us doing all the business. Right. And the referrals that we're doing together, oh, you know, everything, you know, of that billion dollars in listings that we currently have. And everybody's like, what? Well, I want to see your listings. We'll go to gillisandglobal.com gillisandglobal.com check them out but you know we have an island listed for 43 million that's a pretty cool island too is that in the bahamas nope it's up north that's off the northeast coast of of the u.s it's pretty awesome but I'm anyway gonna, when i get home i'm gonna write you an offer on that okay please do i need proof of funds <laughs> <laughs> might take a little longer to get you that but get you an offer pretty quick <laughs> oh my goodness but you know of that billion dollars this is what I love the most. Three, about $308 million of that is referrals from residential agents at eXp. And so that's what eXp is. Just has 300 done. million? Just is... 300 million. Let me tell you something. Today, yesterday, and the day before, one of our business partners, Gerard, we sat down with agents here at eXp. They're selling residential, they're selling houses. But we asked them, you know, how many of you know people who own businesses? Well, I do. Have you ever made any money? No. We got four $15 million to $20 million referrals just since we've been at shareholders that I'm not even counting in that three, 308 because we don't have it listed yet, but we're on our way to do that. Wow. And do you know what the referral check is going to be to those agents? More than they make in a year selling houses and these are top producing agents they're making 300 and all they're doing is, is and now they're you... handing us a referral and they're going to make three or four hundred and you're going to do all the work and i'm going to do all the work exactly that's what i love about exp yeah because before exp before exp that was hard to drum up business that was hard to go out in the world and and build relationships you know i couldn't utilize license portability um like we do now and and you know remax can't pull that off coal banker can't no franchise no other real estate company can pull off license portability the way we can and everybody's like what the heck is she talking about license portability license portability has been around since 2006. it's just very few real estate professionals know anything about it why because their companies aren't set up to honor it the right way but exp is one brokerage no matter for in alabama kentucky Florida, Canada, Dominican Republic, Spain, whatever. It's one brokerage, people. Because we are open everywhere, I have the ability to do deals in 37 states. I don't hold 37 licenses. I only have three states that I'm licensed in. But because of eXp, I have been able to take my lane that I drive really fast in and freaking expand it to a multi-billion dollar interstate of a lot of lanes to build my business exactly the way I did in Louisville where I mastered that market and got extremely bored with it to now take it into all these different states. My territory, when people say, what's your, far what's your farming area? Remember that term in real estate farming? What, you know, what do you yeah. vote? The globe people, Gillis and Global, the globe. <laughs> That's my farming land. That's what you can do at this company. Right. 
I couldn't do it at KW. They told me I couldn't. Liars. Liars. You can't. You can't do that with an independently owned operated franchise. I told you she'd be unfiltered. So, so <laughs> we haven't even had cocktails yet. No. But, but that, there'll be another video with cocktails. But that's the thing is that, you know, think big. Um, you know, my very first broker, the independent guy that really couldn't help me, yeah. he told me, Stephanie, you dream too big and I need you to stop. No, people dream big because when you dream big and that's your goal, freaking go get it. And if you're and if you're not sure how to go get it, then you collaborate with people like us to get you there. That's what we do every single day. Yep. That's what the Freedom Team organization is all about. If you're not sure, it's like it's like you said. You pick up the phone, you call me. If I'm not sure, I'm gonna pick up the phone and call you and and Tim and Jeff and Eric, all of these people. Yeah. That is what we're doing. We are building everyone's empire. You know. Well, there was a question that you were going to ask me about um, the uh, how is EXP most impacted? Well, that was my last question, okay. so don't jump to don't that way. One okay, yet. can't but do that. You, but I can segue into this question: if if you're if you're an, an an agent at another brokerage and you're looking to join EXP Realty, why would you consider or why should you join the Freedom Team? You know, the Freedom Team. All of us leaders of the Freedom Team have been in the business all 20 plus years. We've built businesses. We've owned brokerages. We've struggled in real estate. We have built amazing, you know, production volume, all of these great things. And so the, the Freedom Team is, is really there so that you have seven different ways of plugging into things, right? If you need help with you know, how to get more business or how to do YouTube or, you know, whatever the case might be, each and every one of us leaders at the Freedom Team are all very different. Yeah. And that's what I love the most about it because look, some of us jive great, you know, you, you know, different you, perspectives, different, different perspectives, opinions, different opinions, different ways to approach business, uh, different ways that we've built our business. All and in so, different markets, too. All in different markets in the United States, all in different markets. And I love that an agent can truly come to Freedom Team, plug in and get all those different perspectives. But also, it, it's kind of like the, the um, you know, whether you're wanting to expand into commercial or just sell more homes or become a social media guru, whatever the case might be, we've got a person for all of that. And that's what I love about it. And so what we wanted to make sure is, is that every person that comes into our organization at EXP has absolutely no way in hell to fail unless you're just freaking lazy. I, I can honestly tell you this without a doubt. If you came to EXP Realty, joined the Freedom Team, and you truly plugged in to the Freedom Team, you came to EXP's events, there is no way you will not be successful. There no way is at all. no way. We've got a heck of an agent, a lot of them that are just so amazing, giving, sharing, doing all kinds of great things. But, you know, we had, uh, I had a drink last night uh, with Alex out of Indianapolis. And here's what I love about Alex is he did that. He came, he joined Freedom Team. He's plugged into every single thing. He went from z brand new in real estate, guys, brand new, zero dollars to 18 million in nine months. He plugged into everything. Did he do everything? No, but he plugged into it to see what worked best right. for him and what worked best for his market. And then he wasn't hesitant to not only attend the Zooms and the trainings we're doing, but to also pick up the phone and say, I just want to verify that I understood this properly. And we love getting those calls because that's what we're here to do. Serving heart. You know, I, I love being successful. I love making money, but I love sharing and giving back because every time I do, I make more money. It's great. Yeah. And, you know, I get this question all the time. I'm a top agent in my market. So agents will come to me for, for mentorship as well. And they, they want to know what is the roadmap to being successful. And I tell them there is no one way. There's no one way. No. so many different lanes that you can go into to be successful in real estate. What you need to do is to figure out what one or two or three lanes 
talks to you, speaks to you, is something that you know you can you can get into that lane and be passionate about and go down that road and and be successful in it. And that's what we do right. because we're giving you the fifty lanes. And all you got to do is pick which one or two you want to get into and drive the car. And drive fast. <laughs> drive and, and, drive and, as fast and, as you can. And if you do what we're saying, I promise it's going to be a nice car. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stephanie, before I get to the last question, I do want to speak to commercial agents because you are uh, the commercial guru and... Um, of course, we want to continue to grow commercial eXp Realty. We learned this week that that the, our luxury eXp brand has launched, mm -hmm. and it is their their full force on growing that side of eXp Realty. You have put a tremendous amount of effort into growing eXp Commercial. So, um, give us just a, a two little three minute nugget on why a commercial agent should pick eXp Realty versus wherever they are now. You know, I'm going to take it all back to the basics of, of why I love commercial real estate. The bottom line, the numbers, right? I mean, commercial real estate is all about the, the NOI, cap rates. And so when you look at your commercial brokerage that you're currently at, I mean, you got to look at and ask one question. How much did you pay your broker last year, right? Because if it's more than $20,000, you've got a different option and it's a much better option. And, you know, in this day and age, look, people all the time say, how do you, how'd you get so wealthy? Because I keep my money. <laughs> Seriously, I earn money, but I keep my money. Why give away money that you don't have to? Here, I have proven that I have built my business out of Louisville, Kentucky. Come on, guys. Louisville, I'm not in Beverly Hills. Come on. Louisville, <laughs> Kentucky. I pay eXp 20K a year. I keep 100% of the rest of my commission. I can do business all over the US and every country that eXp is in. So why wouldn't you join? I mean, we put together the best technology tools, access to data, everything you need to be scalable, to, to be able to grow. And instead of get, doing those high dollar splits, look, I've attracted agents to eXp commercial from Marcus and Millichap, Colliers, NAI, SVN, Sperry, you name it, I've brought them in, Cushwake, all of them. And I always say, what did you pay your brokerage last year? And they're like, oh, 157,000 or 400,000 or 300,000, because they're doing big deals, making big money. I'm like, you're an idiot. And they're like, excuse me? I go, look, I apologize that I'm gonna flat out insult you, but why are you an idiot? Because why would you pay a brokerage that kind of money? They go, well, what do you pay your broker? 20000 and then I'm 100%. What? It's a no-brainer. Well, and the commercial agents, just like on the residential side, have the same opportunities, actually owners, more. There's equity. Equity ownership, revenue share, yeah. the stock, the whole nine. The commercial side gets all of that and then some. Yeah. Same as residential, so it's even more than just it, yeah. what you're paying your you brokerage. Know, I, there's those bonuses too. There's those bonuses, and those bonuses are amazing. And you know, none of these commercial brokers that I brought over were ever ever going to get ownership in the brokerage. Never, never at all. You know, they weren't even getting the technology and the access to tools that we have. And if um, they were, they were paying separate. Right, um, a lot of money, a lot of separate, a lot uh, of separate little fees to get them. Right, and you know, and so I mean, that's the thing. And and the other big opportunity for for the commercial side of things is exactly what I said earlier in this conversation. Three hundred eight million dollars of my listings came from referrals because we are in business with some badass EXP Realty residential agents who do know people that have commercial and business opportunities. And they don't want to become experts in the commercial space. They'd rather refer it to us and, and get a referral fee. And so you are built into an automatic 88,000 network of, of people to collaborate and do referral business right. with. And, and let me tell you something. There, nobody that I've brought over, nobody has not received a referral already. Instant, instantly. I mean, instantly. And that's what we do. You know, people have said, well, gosh, Stephanie, do you take all of it? Heck no. I give away just as much as, as, as people are calling me because I can't handle it all either. 
Um, you know, I was I referred off three deals this morning uh, or told the agent that was re wanting to refer them to me. I said, nope, call this guy, call this guy and call this guy. And I'm making sure it gets passed around because look, there's enough money for all of us to be billionaires. There is. Billion so let's, she let's, said billionaires, billionaires, billionaires. So, so let's share the wealth and let's collaborate and do it together. But that's what this company is about. Yeah. And exactly what she just said. I, <clears throat> I called her, I had two commercial properties in Florida that I needed to refer out. And I called her up and I said, this is the type, these are the types of properties. She said, I got your guy. Yep. Sent me his contact info. And, and I was on the phone with him that later that day. Yeah. So, um, yeah, exactly. So I am, we'll go ahead and ask the, the big whammy question, close it out. What is the number one thing about, e number one aspect about EXP Realty that has changed your life and your business? You know, owning my own brokerage um, was always like that aha moment, right? You get into real estate and, you know, the next step is, is become a broker owner, right? That's what, that's kind of what we're taught to do, right? I don't think we're taught that. I think that is, it's just that's in something us. a very, very top agent would say that they want to go branch out. And then, right. you know, most of us just are like, we don't want any part of the brokerage operations. We just want to sell real estate. I right. mean, I'm like that. Right. And, and yeah. I, I'm, I enjoy being a top agent, but I don't want all the headache and responsibility exactly. of having my own brokerage. Stephanie, as I mentioned, she's on a different playing field. She did. I and did, you, and, 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 and you did, and, 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 you know, and loved it. And there was no reason for me um, to even be looking to make a move, to ever even consider, you know, doing anything of this nature. But when I saw it, I couldn't unsee it, obviously. Um, you know, for me, I, I was 39 years old in, uh, w when I was approached about EXP and, you know, what, 20 years in the business or 19 years in the business. And, um, you know, there was a lot of brokerages after me because I was a young broker and, and, and obviously a, a company builder. And you had what, 20 agents at that time? 26. 26. So I kept it small on purpose. After the KW thing, I was like, I'll never have 221 agents in my <laughs> office again. <laughs> but quality <laughs> over quantity, right? Yeah, <laughs> quality <laughs> over quantity for sure. But anyway, for me, I always lived with this fear of, of, of being a prisoner to my business. So owning my independent brokerage, I was a prisoner to my business because if something ever happened to me, it all stopped, right? Yeah. You know, there was nobody to step in and take over. You know, right. my kids were too young. They were just children, right? So, you know, there was nobody that I could leave that to. And so when you're a prisoner to your business, which it means it takes you to run, like if you're out of the equation, it doesn't run, then you're a prisoner to your business. And I remember a long, long time ago, and I cannot remember the, the guy's name, but he said to me, he goes, when you build a business, it's got to operate without, with or without you in it. And, and my brokerage didn't. And most agents' business doesn't, right? Think right. about that. If it doesn't operate without you in it, you haven't built the proper business. And so I hadn't built the proper business because it needed me. What I've been able to do at EXP is duplication and it works with or without me. And that's freedom, people. That's freedom. It's freedom financially. It's freedom from stress. It's freedom from everything that makes us age, right? All these wrinkles on my forehead is from when I owned all those, <laughs> those brokerages, right? But now I do have freedom. You know, I don't have to work today, but I do work because I love it. I right. love what I do, but I'm not a prisoner to my business anymore. I have built it in a way that it works without me and that's freedom. And that's what we want to teach everybody else to do. And you know, that's what this is about. And so it's not about just being a top producer. It's not about just being a baller and being awesome. Let's, let's do all of those things but let's also make sure you're not a prisoner to your business because that's what's important. And there's no coincidence uh, that we named our team the freedom team. That is, you know, what we are out to accomplish yeah. is exactly what she's saying is, is freedom. And by all of us collaborating, working together, pouring into one another, giving value, um, we want you to come over and be successful. We want you to join us and be successful. 
and together we all elevate, we all raise our level of production, we give value back to one another, and then in turn, we all get a little bit more freedom, a little right. bit more freedom, and that's what it's all about. So um, thank you so much, <laughs> thank Stephanie. Thank you. I have thoroughly See, I enjoyed good this. today. I didn't drop any bad no, words, No, no, I? I think one cuss <laughs> word, and that was pretty good. <laughs> I was pretty impressed with that. So <laughs> um, that's going to just about do it for this video. I'm so honored and uh, thankful for you being on. And uh, if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell. That way you can be one of the first ones to learn all there is to know about being at eXp Realty, what life is like here, um, everything there is to know about eXp Realty. So check out some of our other videos. And until next time, we hope to see you around.